In order to understand why a propeller is designed the way it is, let's first think about it as a wing. It's pretty much designed the same way. It has an upper camber, a lower camber, cord line, direction of lift, as well as relative wind. And with all that information, we can determine an angle of attack and how much lift or thrust is created. The propeller is designed with a twist in each blade so that the greatest angle of incidence or the highest pitch is at the hub while the smallest angle of incidence or the lowest pitch is at the tip. The reason for the twist in the propeller blade is so that the blade produces a uniform amount of lift along its length. Because propellers travel in a rotational plane, for any given angle the propeller travels, the distance the inner portion of the blade has to travel is shorter than the outer portions. This means that the outer portion of the blade is traveling faster. In order to produce a uniform amount of lift, we have to reduce the angle of incidence as the blade travels faster. If you imagine the propeller blade was a flat piece of plywood, the lift generated by the blade would get greater and greater farther away from the center of rotation, causing uneven stresses on the structure of the blade. The amount of lift would increase until the airflow can no longer stay attached to the blade, which is the blade's critical angle of attack, causing the blade to stall and no longer produce any thrust. And that is why propellers are pretty twisted. <laughs>